good morning friends so today we are going to talk about an another important topic and the most ignored topic in stock market that is nothing else than the stock market mindset now mindset is one of the important topic need to be discussed the reason is simple more than 60 to 70 percent of your whether you will get success or not in stock market will be determined by stock market okay because at the end of the day understand even if you are able to identify a good stock but if you are not able to control your emotions no you will get out from the stock either too early or you will stay in the stock till even though if it is going down and at the end it is almost there okay so that is why mindset is one of the most important thing that i am going to discuss today in detail so friends my name is priya tapan doshi Uh, welcome to my youtube channel if you are not subscribed to my channel do subscribe it and do like this video i normally come with lot many stock market videos on daily basis so remain in touch so let us talk in detail about stock market mindset and one of first we are go i am going to talk about fomo f o m o fomo what is fomo fomo is nothing but fear of missing out now this is one of a peculiar nature which all the stock market investor is feeling about that reason is simple that whenever stock is going up now we always feel that we have a fear of missing out that's why we jump in the stock even though the valuation is on a higher side now that is a big risk see understand unless if you don't know what is the valuation of a company now you cannot jump like that and the problem is you no know, fear of missing out is so strong that when we are Uh, actually, na uh, person who are beside you and your friends and relatives are buying a particular stock, and they are telling you again and again to buy that stock because that stock may go almost become double in next six months. Now you get so much intimidated, and you may no, it is so lucrative that you jump in that stock. But that is what we make a mistake, guys. We have to control this FOMO factor that because now most of the time. Investor lose that either they jump in the stock too too basically when it is very expensive or they jump in a stock where it is you no know, almost dead. The problem is that only. Like suppose it is very expensive, you know, then also you are jumping because the stock is market uh, stock is going up and up. And the main reason why it is going up and up is simple that the speculators are taking that stock up and up, not because the the fundamental is there in the stock which is bringing it up. Correct. So if you don't know the fundamental, the problem is you go at a higher level and you get stuck. Similarly, when the stock is dead, almost dead, no, most of your friends and relatives may tell you that now like. For example, now you can say yes, bank or DHFL or like no Vodafone idea. No, I am not saying these stocks are not good or bad. Now the problem is whenever it is at a lower level, no lot of story will come, rumors will come that let us enter in that stock because that stock is no going to get double or triple within a span of six months. And the problem is that only what investor thinks. Investor thinks whenever the value of that stock is on a lower side, the price of that stock is on a lower side. No, they feel it is cheap. But understand, just because the price is on a lower side, that does not mean it is a cheap stock. Okay. At the end of the day, that stock is cheap because its valuations are not good. See, market always give first priority to the valuation and first priority to whether that. Stock is really value at that price or not? Correct. So that is why it is lying at that level. So instead of focusing on that type of stocks, better to focus on stocks which are having a good fundamental. The problem is no investor wanted to become crorepati in span of six months or one crore. As we are not crorepati, we cannot become. Okay, when you are investing in a stock, no, you have to be careful. If we become crorepati, then everyone would be a crorepati. Correct. And that is why FOMO factor need to be controlled. Fear of missing out. That if you are able to control that emotion, that will play a big role in your stock market success. Second is, you know, mostly people sell when there is a big fear in the market. When the market is falling a lot, you no. Know, see, I am a stock broker. I have thousands of clients under me, and I have seen that. A retail typical retail investor, what they do whenever the stock market started falling, they feel that market is going to crash and it will going to become zero. As a nahi hota, no. Almost every fall, you have a subsequent upside in next 
few months or a year, correct? So you have to wait for it. The problem is you now when there is a fall, the they a fear factor come in their mind and literally they get out from the train. Now understand, I always compare this with roller coaster ride. Suppose you are in a roller coaster ride. Whenever it goes up, now you feel very much excited, correct? But when it started falling, now you feel fear. And because of that fear, now what will happen? Now you feel that now you are in a big danger and now you are going to crash or whatever it is. But do you get out from the roller coaster ride when it is going down? No, na? correct? You wait till the roller coaster ride get over and once it is getting over, you are getting out safely. And after that, you, you feel a sense of achievement that you are able to complete the roller coaster ride. Similarly is the stock market, guys. You know, when the market is falling and your stock is also falling a lot, just understand one thing, you should know the fundamental of this stock. If you know that stock is fundamentally good stock, you don't have to worry about it. Then don't jump out from that stock, guys. You have to wait to, you know, uh, to get that cycle over. Because it may take six months, one year. But once it starts going up, you will gain your position again. And understand one thing, Michael, go, market always goes in a cycle, correct? Whatever goes down may go up in future also and provided the stock is good. And understand in Bombay Stock Exchange started in 1979, correct? It 100 points. And now it has reached to around 53,500 points, correct? So over the years, if you, if you see last 43 years history, the market has given more than 15% return. Now understand one thing. If the market overall has given a 15% return, which is that return is much higher than all other asset class like gold. Uh, gold may have given 9% or FD may have given you 6 to 7% or real asset may be around 11 to 12% average. Now, this is an asset class which has given a great return. So that's why you have to remain invested and wait for a longer time. The problem is you now why you get out from the stock because you always think about the short term. An investor, retail investor, think about next six months, went one year. However, it's not thinking for next 10 years and 15 years. And that is the fear, which is why it is getting out that from that stock. Correct or no? So that is the problem. You have to think for the long term, not for the short term. Once you start thinking about long term, no. Psychologically, you will feel, okay, what is the problem? The stock has gone down, but the stock is good. Market is good, correcting currently. That's why it is going down. Once market gets on the upward trend, that stock will go on the upward trend. So that is the mental attitude we have to give. And that is why this is very much important. Even if you purchase a good stock, you have done all the study, you have done all the fundamentals and picked up a multi bagger stock. But if you are not able to pass through all these up and down cycle, no, you will never able to create a big wealth. Correct. Now, you must have heard story correct, that uh, if you invested uh, 5 lakh rupees in HDFC bank 25 years back, it would have been around 25 crores by now in, in 25 years. Now understand. HDFC bank so many times have fallen more than 30 to 40 percent in between this cycle so many times. Then also, one who have kept for a long term may have earned a lot of money. Correct or no? So this is the thing, guys. You have to go through all these cycles. And once you go through all these cycles, you know, guaranteed you will get create a great wealth in your pocket and your portfolio will be growing a lot. Just you have to keep your mental attitude on the right side, on the right framework. And that will help you to do, uh, go through all these cycles. Okay. Similarly, uh, another factor which is people jump when the market is going up. And this is similar to FOMO factor. Now, when the market starts going up, now you go gun blazing. Now, you just, and some of the in retail investors I have seen in my booking house, also that they literally borrowed money from the outside and started investing in the stock market. Now, that is the totally wrong thing to do. Never, never, never leverage when you're going into the stock market. Because understand one thing, leverage is like a double-edged sword. No, if the market goes down, 
not only you will lose money in your, in your particular stock, but also this double-edged stock no, literally will kill you because that will you have to pay a lot of interest. Again, you have to give them back the borrow money. So all this you have to keep in mind when you are investing in the stock market. And fourth and last point I want to talk about is regarding shiny objects. Okay, syndrome. Now, what is shiny object syndrome? Now, understand that currently in stock market, lot of news are there, lot of information is there, and many uh, creators are there, course creators, and many what you say pandits are there. No, uh, and they are trying to sell you all this string trading, intraday trading, algo trading, and all that stuff is there. But no history shows that no person has become a billionaire through all this intraday trading even uh, what is the string trading or uh, algo trading all that stuff correct the richest billionaire like warren buffett rakesh junjunala radha krishna damani all these guys you know have created wealth more than 90 percent of 95 percent of their wealth through long-term investing not through all these shiny objects so this the problem is now when a retail investor is not aware of all this, when he comes into market, he has an aspiration of earning a lot of money. He wants to earn in crores, correct? And what is happening, also he wants to earn very fast. And that is not killing it. So whenever a person is able to facing that any type of this type of uh, um, shiny object like you no know, swing trading or intraday trading or that strategy, derivative strategy called put and all that. No, he gets so much excited that he start doing it. The problem is not nothing wrong in doing it, but the but the history shows there is only one to two percent professional traders or derivatives players are really able to make money through market, and that's the fact, guys. And there is a you see that shows that almost 60 to 70 percent of his wealth created by the long-term investor. So you have to understand if you are already doing a job, business, no need to get in all the shiny objects, guys. Okay, just simple plain vanilla method you have to follow. Select a particular stock with a good valuation, remain invested for next two years. And I am sure that you will get much more money than the your friend or relative who is doing the trading and all that. Understand, initially you may feel that through long-term investing, you are getting very lot less money. Maybe in one year, two years, you may be getting 30% or 20%. But your friend or relative is earning almost 2-3% a day through intraday trading. So you always feel excited to of doing that thing, to earn all the big money in short term period but that is not the way to go okay so if you really want to create because you now at the end of 10 years once you have invested through long-term investing you will see how much your portfolio is compounded compared to your intraday player friend your friend will be there only of course if he is not professional and as i told you only one percent chance is that that he will become a successful so he will be there only but your portfolio must have grown by many fold Okay, and this is how you achieve your financial freedom. So that is the thing. Whenever you are there in the market, you have to think about a psychological way and know your mental status should be clear that on which path you want to go, what framework you have to select. And my suggestion will be long-term investing because that is the framework which will help you to you know, overcome all these mental emotions okay and that is the thing uh, this is how you will grow in your career or sorry in your investing journey and understand one thing at the end of the day you need a sound sleep that is the core of it correct what is the meaning that one is your active income that is your business your job now you are uh, doing so much of work working nine to ten hours to earn so much of money and coming in the market again you have to think about daily market scenario, all that, what is going on and all that. And and then you are starting taking pressure. And at the end, no, you will not have a sound sleep because you are thinking like, are ye nasle band hua? Are Dow Jones where it is closing? Tomorrow, what will be the opening? Tomorrow morning, I have to put this stage. All these things will come into your mind and that will eat up your complete sound sleep. So that is the thing, guys. 
do investment in such a way that you are having a sound sleep and that is the core of it this is your passive income not your active income and let it grow according to its because it's an investment you are you are a business owner by purchasing a share and that is the main thing we have to consider here correct and uh, because you know suppose you are investing in the hdfc bank hdfc bank is working 24 by 7 for you and that is generating a profit through that your stock is going up correct so this is the way your share market your share value will go up and you will earn more and more profit so keep this thing in mind when you are investing in stock market and hope you got all these mental models which i told you if you implement all these models no i tell you you will become much more successful in your investment journey so guys if you want to learn more about this framework and all that, now I am conducting lot many uh, webinars and masterclass related uh, to it. And I have created a framework, a thoughtful investor framework, where I am going to talk in deep about this. So if you want to join, you can click below link and join uh, this masterclass, which I am conducting every week. Correct. And do understand the model, which is one of the best model in the industry. So guys, Hope you like this video and as I told you, do like this video by clicking the like button and do subscribe to my channel and I will see you soon tomorrow with another good video. Thank you.